Hey everybody, welcome back to Creative Paper Studio. I'm your host, Cassie. Today I am doing an unboxing and review for Timu. Um, Timu is an online company that you can order very cheap supplies through and they have everything from crafting supplies to clothes to kitchen utensils to household items. They've got everything and it's so cheap and um, the shipping on it is quite quick too. Um, I reached out to them asking them if they wanted to partner with me and so they offered to send me some products in return for my review on them. So I have got them in the mail and I haven't opened it yet. So let's go ahead and just open this up and see what's in here. Now I did get to pick my own products that I wanted to review. Um, although I have since um, forgot everything I ordered. I remember a few items I ordered, but anyway, I'm gonna set this to the side and we'll just pull some of the items out and see what we've got here. So it appears they've put everything in really nice bags. So let's just pull all the bags out. And that is everything. So with your orders, you receive these gift cards. I have ordered from them and bought the stuff before. Um, so with your orders, you receive these gift cards to give to a family or friend. And what it is, is they follow these instructions on the back. They download the app and then they scratch this little bar here and they type that code in. Um, and within 24 hours of typing the code in, you get so much percentage off on whatever is on here. So there's those. Now let's get into what I ordered. I really like these bags. I think I'm going to keep them and reuse them for stuff. Okay. So the first item here I have are some stainless steel clips. And you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six of them. And they are, they're, they're lightweight. The clipping on them is quite strong. And I ordered these to hold my signatures together when I'm sewing in signatures and stuff. And to, um, uh, what's it called? Hold my books open when I'm going to be doing working in my journals and stuff. So these are really, really nice and um, good quality. I really like the, the strength of the clip. So I will be doing um, a couple more videos showing how to use the items or how I plan to use the items. Um, oh, this bag's ripped a little bit. Nothing some tape won't fix, right? So I will put in the description down below, I will put a link to their website and I will also put um, links to the products that I ordered. So this, I'm excited for this one. This is called a swivel stapler and I've never seen anything like this before. But this part swivels out so that you can um, staple anywhere you want to. And then it opens up like so. That way you can put your staples in there. 
again, this seems like it's really good quality. Um, I like this part of it. That makes it feel really nice. So it does not come with any staples, which is okay. Um, I'm sure it just takes regular, it says right here on it, what staples it uses. It uses the 26, six and 24, six staples. So I'm excited to try this out. I thought this would work really good for making like notebooks and stuff where you can't quite fit your stapler normal way, but you could go this way because there's nothing stopping. So you could, you know, staple any direction you want to. So I thought that would be fun to play with. And let's see what this is. Black and White Poet Society. Oh, this is washi tape that I ordered. And I believe there's, I think there's 20. Yes, there's 20 washies here. And they're all in a black and white theme. And I really like these with like the script on them and stuff. Let's just pull this out. Take a look at it. I think that's really cool. A look at the crow and then there's a bottle. Wow, there's quite a bit different stuff on here. So that's one repetition. So I'll hold this up. Lots of different stuff on there. It could be used for many different things. It seems like it's pretty strong washi. It didn't rip or anything as I was trying to pull it off the roll. Now to, you know, get it all lined back up on here the way it should be. That's the trick, right? So these will be fun to add. Let's see what else there is. So this one's like uh, pictures and stuff. Choose a good heart, not a good face. And then you've got kind of like these speckled looking ones and just a plain white one. Let's see what else is in here. This one looks neat. Different scripts. That's nice. I love the grid washies like this. They seem to be my favorite. I also like writing on grid paper. So those are fun. You got some here with like mathematical terms. You've got some that look kind of like ruler. Those will be really fun to play with. So I got a 20 piece set of washi. And then I got this that is a 12 set of these little books that have different like um, papers in them and I do believe they're washi stickers. Oh, let's just dump these out take a look at them. Okay, so this one is pink flowers. So everything in it's going to be like pink flower themed. Some cute stuff. I like that door. Look at that door. Isn't that cute? And the flowers. So they are stickers, so you can just peel them off the backing. Ooh, look at cherry blossom. I love cherry blossoms. So you get the pink flowers and then you get one called purple memories. Look at the Ferris wheel. Some hands. Ooh, some pretty flowers. I like these. These are cool. Oh, I really like that. So anyway, there's purple memories and you get 12 of these. So night falls. Look at the clouds. Oh, that's pretty. Let's 
These seem like they're very nice quality papers too. Green, green Homestead. Another door picture. So you get a good variety. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Street view is this one. Oh, look at the fire hydrant and some buildings. I like the different looks of buildings and like windows and doors and stuff. I think they're really cool. Oh, look at that old payphone. That's funny. Okay, forest hiking. So each book is just like a different theme, and there's 12 of them. And they're all stickers. So those are, that's really cool. Bake Delicious. Yeah. I'm not seeing many baked goods in here. Oh, look at that bicycle. Oh, there's a cupcake. In bed with your coffee. So, just good variety. I'm just showing you. Snow Dream. So these are going to be like winter type pictures, I would think. Oh, a log cabin. I don't know why a beach with palm trees is in Snow Dream, but okay. Very, very nice. A couple more here to go through. Passionate Red. Each book is 50 pieces. It says right on there that it's 50 pieces in each book. So 50 times 12 is what you get. Oh. Orange Scenery. Ooh, some sunsets. Oranges. Ooh, look at that pretty picture. I can really see myself using these a lot. White romance and like my collages and things like that. Ooh, that's pretty. Coconut. Another picture of an old phone. Coffee cup. Pretty. Silent film. Ooh, these are like black and white pictures. These are cool. Okay, so yes, I can definitely see a lot of good use with these. I can tell these are going to be a favorite of mine. Let's see if we can get them back in the box. All righty. So let's move on to this one. So these are some zipper bags that I ordered thinking I could use them to keep like different projects and stuff in and like ephemera and things like that when I'm working on a project. But they're A4 size, and they have a zipper, and then they're see-through, so you can see what's in them. That's nice. Um, they're pretty sturdy. They're made with, like, this woven texture stuff. I don't know what you would call that. That's really nice. And these were super affordable, too. And you get one, two, three... Four, five. You get five of them. And they have little tabs on them. And then all the zippers have these little pull strings on them. So that's really nice. These are going to come in really handy for things. Really handy. I like those. Okay, let's see what's next. There's a couple of things in this bag. Let's start with this. Okay, this is a, I believe it's 48 piece. But it's wrapped up like a washi. 
from what I was reading about it, I don't think it is exactly washi, but similar. Let's get it open. Okay. So, let's find the end here. Sorry if I'm off camera doing this. I'm trying to... Okay. So, they're like... They are kind of sticky. I think you'd have to use, for sure, glue stick on the back of them. But that's, you know, not a big deal. But they're little labels. And they're perforated so that you can tear them right where you need to. Or cut them if you feel safer cutting them. And the one I ordered happened to be like um, this neutral color with mushrooms and butterflies and botanical type stuff. So really cool. And you get 48 little labels on your roll for these, which I thought is really cool. You know, 48, that's going to last you quite a while. Unless you go absolutely crazy with them. And this is a set of stickers. It's like a variety pack of stickers. Here on the back it shows you the different stickers that it comes with. And I think there's a hundred pages of stickers in here. I like that it comes in this nice container and like that. Okay, so they're clear acetate stickers and these are like purples and blues and pinks. So very, very pretty stickers. I like how they're just kind of random so like each page is kind of like made to go together so you could just if you're doing a collage you could just like pick one page and use like the whole little page of stickers but you get 25 of each color on these which I thought was really cool but I won't show every single one but because you guys get the idea. But they're all different. I haven't seen one that repeats yet. But here's some yellow ones. So pretty. You get like butterflies and flowers and labels and uh, cars and like little sayings and postage stamps and stuff. This one's really pretty. I like the mushroom and that little like postcard thing. So this one's like yellows and oranges and browns, it looks like. And then you have the greens. These are cool. I'm going to see a lot of use out of the greens. Pardon the cat making a bunch of noise. So yeah, these are really nice. I'm really happy I chose these. Oh, look at that. They're so just dainty and pretty and could be used in a lot of different ways. They could be used in your collages. They could be used in your planners. Um, on your calendar to jazz it up a little bit. Um, your pen pal letters, you can put them on your envelopes, seal your envelopes. All kinds of different uses. Oh, look at that. So these are like the reds and more pinks. So that is that. And then I believe in this other bag we have one more item. I got eight different things. Let me get rid of the garbage and set that aside. Okay, so I'm really excited for this. This was the most expensive item that I ordered. And it is a um, 
I don't know if it's real leather. It feels like real leather. But it may be a faux leather, but it doesn't feel like suede or anything. It's real soft or real smooth. Um, it's got a pen holder here for your pen to go into. So your pen can go in just like that. Very, very nice. It has a magnetic closure on it, which is super nice. And then it's also got a little bookmark so you can keep your spot. And if I remember correctly, it's 416 pages. But it's got like this. It's almost a eggshell type colored paper. But um, you can mark the day, what kind of weather you're having. You've got the date over here and your memo number. And then you could just write your letters in here. The paper, um, it's a little bit of a thinner paper, but it feels like your regular copy weight paper. But it's really, really nice feeling. It's nice and smooth, which I really like. Here's your little your bookmark that you can put anywhere throughout your journal. But yeah, this is really nice. I thought I could use this for, you know, a regular daily journal or I could use it for making my notes for my YouTube videos and stuff, but I really like the weight to it. You can see the size of it compared to my hand. Um, let me get a ruler and I'll tell you the size of it. It measures... Just a tad over five and a half wide. And it is a tad over eight and a quarter tall. And it's got about a one inch spine on it. So again, really, really nice size. I love the feel of it. It's You can tell it's, you know, a quality journal. So those are the items that I chose. Let me pull them into frame here so you can see what we've got. Again, this is from Tim Yu. Um, you know, the Tim Yu is like my go-to store now. I've ordered from them, plus I've done like the review for them now. And I'm not saying that Tim Yu is my go-to store because, you know, I've done this review for them. It, if I didn't like their products, I would tell you that I, I don't like their products. But I love their products. And it's so much faster than your other online stores that we buy our stuff from. It's faster. The quality is better. Um, they have a guarantee that... If you don't get your items by the time they specify, they'll give you like a $5 credit if your items are late. So that's a really awesome right there because they're guaranteeing that you're going to get your products. Um, you know, and they were running like a 90% off sale. I don't know if they still are or not. Um, so check into that. But yeah, really awesome products, great price. It gets to you a lot quicker than the other online stores do. And they have a great selection of items. So I really, really, really recommend this company um, to buy from. Again, you get the gift cards with every purchase that you do um, to give to your family or friends. And uh, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, but I do believe that if you get so many people to sign up using your link once you sign up, um, Tim, you will like reimburse your order. So say you go on and you put in like a $45 order for your first order and then you get 
the amount of people it says to sign up and purchase something through your link, then Timmy will reimburse your $45 order and give you your first order for free. So that's another really great thing that they do as well. So I'm super excited to play with these. I'm going to do a couple more videos with these items. I want to show you guys how the stapler works and um, I want to show you, you know, playing with some of the stickers and things like that and the washi tape. So be on the lookout for that video coming soon. And like I said, there will be a bunch of information in the description box. Um, I believe they're going to be sending me a code for you guys to use um, to get a certain percentage off or maybe a free item or something. I'm not 100% sure yet what it's going to be, but it will be down in the description box below. So be sure to check that out. Also, I will link all these products so you can see how great their prices really are. So thanks for being here, guys. Remember, stay safe and keep it creative. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.